So, it's been about two weeks since you've been back in the gym. Let me ask you, after that first week, how were you feeling? If I were to take a wild guess, I would say you probably felt like you took a swooping from Omni-Man. That about right? Ooh. Pretty close? Well, I would hazard a guess that a lot of you out there are probably feeling like that was the case at the end of the first week. And you're not alone. It's not some kind of mistake. Welcome to the world of Doms if you didn't already know where you were. Uh, but uh, we're going to be talking about that today. Uh, we're going to be talking about why that probably happened to a lot of us. And basically looking at my workouts over the past week and assessing it to get an idea as to what are the mistakes people make getting back in the gym. Specifically the biggest mistake people make going back into the gym. And also how you can come back to the gym the right way. Because uh, oddly enough over the course of my one week coming back I had uh, sort of a little column A and a little column B. So we're going to use me as the example example here dive into my workout footage here and we're going to actually examine it and talk about these things so uh, shall we get right into it uh, let us do this so to start things off I'm actually I also got all my data down here so don't mind me looking down uh, the first day open was Friday good old Friday the July 16th a lot of us remember it well uh, and as we got jumped back into things I started off with the seated cable row which I did at 187 pounds 10 reps for five sets which was where things just got wrong because the biggest mistake you can make going back into the gym is lifting too much whether it's because you're ego lifting or in my case you're just really excited to get back into the gym and get to the weights and get to the machines again it's not going to serve you well working out works best when it's progressive overload not just overloading your system past its capability to function properly uh, the next exercise i did was a barbell bent over row 115 pounds for 10 135 for 10 135 for 10 and 135 for 10. Uh, now these weights might not seem like they're crazy but when you're considering the fact that i spent a long period of time using nothing but resistance bands this is substantial uh, the next exercise was an incline bench press uh, barbell of course done with 135 for 10 then 165 for 10 then 185 for 10 and 185 for 10 as you can see it just i started off with the right idea just some 45s keep it relatively light and then i just kept pushing the bar this is excitement at work right here and i felt good i accomplished all my all my reps relatively cleanly and it was they felt good they felt smooth but i paid for it later uh, next exercise flat barbell bench press now word up to the homie kyle who came through and filmed this for me i actually forgot my camera and my tripod on friday so he actually helped get the footage for this particular one here and you know without him it wouldn't have looked this clean so i appreciate it kyle hope everything's going well out there in western land for you right now and you are uh, getting good workouts uh and uh, you know doing your thing out there having fun uh so here for the flat barbell bench uh 135 155 for 10 then 155 for 8 then 155 for 10 uh and yeah the 8 there was because i did one set back to back with another and what you do for content man it just burned me out so um next uh was the monday workout we missed the flat bob dumbbell bench press which i did for uh 35 pounds each hand 10 reps for sets uh then i did the incline as you just saw there 70 pounds well 35 uh for 10 reps and then 40 for 10 reps for the next three sets then move on to spider curls which i did for 50 pounds for the first 10 10 repetitions then uh, i did 60 70 and 70 for the next successive sets 10 reps a piece all of those uh, now biceps were actually feeling really good uh, i i didn't feel much if any soreness there uh, and so i actually was able to go a lot harder than i thought i was going to triceps the same um chest was what took the biggest hit um next exercise i did here on the monday was the incline wide rotating bicep curl it's basically just a bicep curl on an incline uh, you're going at a wide angle and some rotation in there i love this exercise not a lot of room for cheating makes for a great hit in the biceps there so 50 for 10 60 for 10 60 for 10 and 60 for 10. Uh, like i said i was feeling good with the biceps didn't feel like i had to hold back and i didn't feel really i didn't feel any doms off the biceps and triceps they actually held up the best um my theory there is that the resistance i was using from the bands was actually sufficient enough to uh transition and and didn't have any great uh, ill effect then we move on to tuesday which is where i was doing 
back is first uh, the first muscle group to hit. So I was doing lat pull down, 170 for 10, 170 for 10, then 148 for 10 for the next two sets. You can kind of see I'm starting to taper off, realize there is not infinite juice in the tank. So I start backing off a little bit and you can even see it in that rep. Bit of a struggle there, still made it, still looks clean. Uh, then standing cable row, I start off real light, 77 at 10, 88 at 10, then 109 at 109.5 uh, 109 at 10 and 125 at 10. Uh, I was kind of creeping my way up my way up because I just wanted to make sure that I felt good. Uh, I didn't want to be too aggressive because I was starting to feel the effects of it and my chest was still super sore and this was Tuesday. That workout from Friday was still punishing me. Uh, moved on to triceps, V-bar uh, push down uh, and I did 70 pounds for 10, 85 for 10 for the next three sets. Uh, like I said, triceps were good. I didn't have to hold back there, so that was fine. Um, I probably should have held back just to make sure, but um, luckily that mistake didn't come back to haunt me, and I just gotta thank my lucky stars for that one. Uh, what was supposed to be the last exercise for Tuesday was an easy bar skull crusher, uh, closer grip, and I was doing 70 pounds for 10 reps for all four sets. This was supposed to close out Tuesday, uh, but I returned to the land of the reckless and realized I had some extra time, and instead of just squandering it and going home, I decided why not throw in another exercise? So I actually very foolishly decided to throw in yet another exercise. Now this is another case where it didn't necessarily punish me this time because I'm lucky. I got lucky and it just so happened the training I was doing at home happened to have covered my bases there. But if I wasn't doing something to cover upper back and make sure it was strong enough to handle this, I would have been punished by this exercise. That will do it for this particular section here. We already were finished uh, the first half here, which is beautiful. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the biggest mistake you can make coming back to the gym is just lifting too much. Uh, you put too much weight on the bar, you ego lift. Often with ego lifting, it ends up sacrificing form considerably. Luckily, A, as a trainer, B, because I wasn't really ego lifting, I was actually just lifting out of excitement. I was able to kind of control my form and make sure that that was still as sharp as I could possibly get it. Uh, so really, it would just came down to me feeling the DOMS. Uh, but ego lifting can easily lead to injuries on top of DOMS. So like, it just really doesn't benefit you. Plus, just generally speaking, we're looking for progressive overload, not overload of the system to the point where it can't function. So that does it for part one. We're going to transition real quick into part two. And instead of doing the old spiel like we usually do, I'm just going to do a quick cut. So get ready for part two.